There's a new intensity at Everbank Field, a renewed focus on winning on the field, and perhaps even more important for the Jaguars, creating a winning game day experience for the fans in the stadium. And that begins when they board a JTA Stadium shuttle. It's been that way since the city got the franchise. But the Jaguars have a new front office, new direction, and a new way of thinking. President Mark Lamping handles all the business operations, everything except football. The partnership that we have with JTA and the service they provide is a very, very important part of us giving our fans that experience. I need two season passes, please. The shuttle's fantastic to get the fans down to the stadium. How long have you been using the shuttle? Every game we go to. We've been doing this for eight, nine years now. We love it because it beats all the traffic. Um, we get in and we get out. It's nice and cool when <laughs> we have the city buses. Because it's convenient. Um, I don't have to worry about parking down near the um, stadium and um, being in that crowd in a rush and it's like it better. Here's your JTA season passes. For each home game, the JTA Stadium Shuttle delivers between 6,000 and 8,000 hardcore fans to Everbank Field Go with a mission to cheer the Jaguars on to victory. It is a very, very important part of everything that we do here, and it has to uh, you know, continue to be so and probably become even more important in the future. When it comes to the future, this undeveloped chunk of land along East Bay Street is important too. Now, it doesn't look like much, but the Jaguars see it as a front door. We've talked quite a bit about what we need to do so that fans are um, more interested in coming to the sports complex. One part of that is the, uh, the current area of the shipyards that's undeveloped. That's really the front door to the sports complex. To get through that door, a transportation link from the core downtown to the shipyards would be important. Not only would it provide daily connection to a development that could include condos, could include restaurants, could include hotels, it would also be a stop that's very close to the arena and very close to the baseball grounds and Everbank Field. They're talking about the Skyway. Extending the Skyway simply to get people to Everbank Field, I don't think that that's necessarily uh, the right path to follow, but extending the Skyway to promote and encourage additional development along the St. John's River, particularly the shipyard site, if that development becomes successful and those people that want to take that type of transportation uh, on event days, again, whether it's to the arena, the baseball grounds, or upper right field, that would be a great uh, alternative. Lamping projects steady improvement for the Jaguars over the next five years in a number of areas. But listen to this. And uh, building the uh, display case where we uh, go put the Vince Lombardi trophy. So is that really included in the next five years? Yeah. One thing great about the NFL is you never know what's going to happen. <laughs>